Hi, I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my summer activity videos. And I just wanted to document this because right now we're updating, or I, can't, I guess you can't say it's a renovation, but it's more of an update to a very old playground. This playground has been here for almost 20 years. I think it was built in around, my dad built it around 2001 or 2002. So it's about 17, 18 years old. And right now, we want to update it because all of the all of the kids have grown quite old. Because when my dad first designed this, um, all right, sorry about that. Someone called, so the video got interrupted. But let me just clarify: uh, the kids haven't grown quite old because I'm only like 15. I guess you could say the kids have grown up. But when my dad first designed this playground, he designed it for a little kid. So the entrance, first of all, from this. Um, I guess you call it a mountain or a stepping stone. Uh, once you climb this, you're supposed to get inside, and the opening's about two, maybe two and a half feet. And for a man of average size, at least for us, an average size would be like five and a half feet. Um, it's very hard to get inside. Like it's uh, very tricky. You just have to be very, um, uh, let's say, flexible. But Getting inside here is a is a very uh, hard feat, and I don't know how my friends did it when I had my birthday party because they were able to get up to the third deck without any trouble, and they're taller than me, so hopefully they didn't have any trouble getting through here. But anyway, the plan for the playground uh, don't mean to digress, but the plan for the playground is to remove this roof so that we can uh, you know expand the amount of uh, vertical space that we have for any taller people remove this bar here that prevents people from like actually that that forces people to get under it and after we remove the roof what we're going to do is we're going to install a deck now this deck isn't for people it's actually for our cat bella and if you don't know our cat bella we have some videos of her on my youtube channel maybe my facebook page but bella very much likes to go on top of the um I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this, but she she really likes to go on top of the um, play 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 castle, and she likes to look around and see all the sites that our backyard has to offer. And I think when I first saw her do it, I was scared, but she actually really likes it up there. So I think that what we want to do with this is we have a deck, and what it's, it's, it's sort of going to be like a one foot high room, but all around it's going to be either a fence or a like a net that prevents Bella from getting out but she can still see for outside of it and after that we're gonna put sort of like a not glass like a plastic or a vinyl um, roofing so that she can see on top so we're not only gonna remove this roof we're also gonna remove that roof so that we can get some planks for the floor for the, of the deck and right now we don't have a sort of concrete idea of what the final product is going to look like so right now we just want to document as we go so right now what I'm doing is I'm dismantling this side of the roof all right halfway through the first half of the roof um, right now we got all the planks off as you saw in that first shot and the next step is I think to knock this out so I'm gonna first try with this hammer if it doesn't work I'm gonna use this big sledgehammer but um, we'll see Bye. Uh, cover your ears, baby. I don't know the form for hitting a hammer, but... I mean, it's coming out, but in order to do it faster, I'm going to hit up the sledgehammer. And it's going to be a bit tricky because it's such a tight space, but... Okay, so, in this case, um, my dad told me that the best way to do this is to knock it out because it's all nailed in. I'm hoping that this, this plank of wood doesn't matter if I break it, but I know that for the other roof, we're going to use that, those planks of wood for the floor. I don't know about this one though, uh, but it broke to me hitting it with a sledgehammer, so maybe it wasn't that good? I don't know. There we go. Knocking it out is always the way of. I think there's a phrase for it. I think it's called um, 
cutting the Gordian's knot. So like, I think the story is that there was a very hard knot to untie, and then a general named Gordian came in and just cut it down with the sword. You know, sometimes the simplest way is the best way, even if it might break the wood. All right, so right now, as you can see, we have the bottom roof uh, disassembled. Now we're going to work on disassembling the top roof. Now, the thing is it needs to have screws on it, so I need to use the drill to take it out. You can see I'm standing on this wide bar that the swing is on, so I'm already very high. And I do apologize if I'm giving anyone any anxiety, but it's not really dangerous when I'm up here as long as I'm standing next to something that I can hold in place. I'm not gonna fall if I hold on to this pole right here. So don't worry. Anyway, this is the end of yeah, I'm not sure what part this is. They're, they're, I think this is part six of my backyard activities. Um, in the next part, I'm going to talk about more about taking off this roof, more about the plan for our deck for Bella. And actually, Bella's right there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm Ayman, and I'll see you in the next part.